Greetings, everyone. I'm Mar, and once again, this is my opinion. On this show, we rarely, if ever, see Marie mad at Ray to the point where she just doesn't want to do her usual thing. Doesn't want to cook for him. Doesn't want to baby him. Just storms away and acts indifferent to him. This episode is going to be one of those times. This is Season 3, Episode 14, Pants on Fire. Another episode from longtime screen, excuse me, teleplay writer Tucker Colley. It revolves around Ray getting caught in a lie by Marie. Now, it's more a lie of a mission by this point, but when Ray was a teenager, it was a direct lie. Like, party? Oh, no, we didn't have no party. Nope, everything went fine. Went fine. As you can tell from that statement. It involves a party Ray threw when he was a teenager. Plot begins, innocently enough. Ray, Robert, Frank Marie, they're sitting around in the living room watching TV, starting to get a bit cold. Frank goes and puts the heater on under duress. All of a sudden, they hear a rattling. Ray goes and checks the vent, and he finds a beer bottle cap. And this causes him to reminisce about the time when he was in high school, when his parents went away on a trip, and he threw a party. And Marie, she overreacts. You had a party in my house? And I'm just finding out about it? And Ray's like, really? You're overreacting over this? This was 20 years ago. Why are you doing this now? And it's mainly because of a couple questions she asks. One of which you can kind of understand from this point of view of a parent why she would ask this. But at the same time, you also side with Ray because it was 20 years ago. And the question is, did you smoke? Now, all she says is, did you smoke? The under implication, of course, is she could be just asking in general because she has to think about smoking. But the parent is probably asking, yeah, man, pass the blunt. And that's probably what Ray's thinking because this question is smoke want and that's what causes her to overreact. Now, there was drinking as we see in the flashback, so that's probably why she asked the question. And throughout the majority of the episode, Marie is in this overreact mode where her normal behavior towards Ray off into the ether. And since Ray's birthday is coming up, you can definitely tell, ooh, this is going to be interesting. And it is, because she does not give him his birth minute kiss. That's a new bit of lore that's added into this uh, episode, into the show in this episode, excuse me. <laughs> is that every year on his birth minute, Marie kisses him. Now, they never state if she does it for Robert, but I have a feeling she does it if she remembers, but she doesn't go out of her way to do it like she does with Ray. Another way that Raymond wins. And without this birth minute kiss, Ray just cannot function. He's just like, everything has gone wrong. I'm like, I'm alone in the monkey cage, but the zookeeper's dead and there's no bananas. What am I going to do? And as we come to expect from Ray... He goes across the street to talk with his mother, and nothing works. Now, the thing that causes the status quo to go back to normal is just an offhand comment that Robert makes. Because for this latter part of the episode, Marie is acting unusually motherly towards Robert. How she normally acts for Ray, that's how she's acting for Robert. So it's a nice little role reversal. In the way that Brad Garrett plays this scene, oh, you could tell he's having fun play this because it's different. And his character is enjoying it because he gets a cake with Happy Birthday Robbie. Because one other bit of lore we find out is that they skipped Robert's first birthday party, but then actually threw one for Ray. And the whole justification was that with the first kid you make some mistakes. Kind of an understatement from what we found out about the difference between how Robert and Ray were raised and their conceptions. So if you're going to go with that, technically, leave it at that. But Robert is having fun with it, especially since he's rubbing it in Raymond's face. Everybody loves Robert, as it were. But the line that Robert says that screws it up is, Would you be overreacting like this if I had thrown that party all those years ago? Clear English. No hidden meaning, no way you can misconstrue it, but Marie somehow does. She misconstrues it as Robert confessing he's the one that threw the party and that Ray originally 
fell in the sword for him. You can just see why Marie just went that way because in her weird mind, she is trying to wrap around it. Like, how could my little Raymond do this? How could he rebel like this? I was a good mother, which is a mantra she repeats often throughout this episode. I was a good mother. It's like, you can be the best mother. And of course, as we've seen from how Marie and Frank raised the kids, they, you know, there was like levels of goodness, levels of eh. With Marie, it's like, she was a decent mother, but you could see she does have issues, to put it mildly. So Ray rebelling by throwing a party and drinking, you can see why he would do that. And in other episodes, we find other ways they rebelled. Also involving alcohol and sneaking out and other, among other stuff. I mean, before we found out that he had a fake ID and snuck into nightclubs and all that. And other stuff with alcohol. So it's not unprecedented, which is funny. With the ID, she just is like, oh, I'm disappointing you. But just the party, she flips her crap. What do you think he did with the ID, Marie? But, you know, early part of the show? A couple seasons into the show. And also could be stacked on top of each other. That's why she overreacted. But Marie, she's just trying to wrap her mind around it. And she justifies it by taking all that blame and putting it right on Robert. And it, the status quo returns to normal. But it's from a character motivation. So it's not like it just returns to normal for no reason. And you feel sad for Robert if everything. Because think about it. This season, his relationship ended. He moved out, so he went down, he went up, went down, and now this. This is another little thing down, but something's not going to be referenced again, but it's it's something that you look at and you go, poor Robert. He still gets an entire cake out of it from, <laughs> De from Deborah. And the funny thing is, even though Marie does place the blame all on Robert, she just lets it go like that. It's like... So just because Robert had to party, you can let bygones be bygones. But heaven forbid Ray misbehave. Oh. But the fun thing about it is that Frank likes Ray a bit more <laughs> when he finds out he rebelled. Because he's like, you're a troublemaker. I'm a troublemaker too. And I think, and Frank smiled, it's him looking at it and go, oh, my son actually did some rebelling. Oh, yeah, that's good. When it's this level of rebellion, when uh, we find out the thing that I mentioned and passing later, he gets annoyed. It's more with one of the things Robert does, but he gets a little annoyed with Ray, but that has to do more with all the stuff with that episode. I believe that's... That could be into season four, but I think that's season five. I'll have the flashback scene, how they go into it and how they go out of it, I actually do like it. To go into it, it's a little... I believe that's a fade-in dissolve or... It goes from Ray, and he's looking at the couch, and then slowly it fades into the flashback scene where you see the camera set up on the love seat, and then it's fading in to the flashback. All the party goers slowly fading in, along with the music, which is a nice use of the mid faster section of Freebird. First time I actually heard that solo. And then you've got Ray and one of his buddies doing geek air guitar to it. They're like, <laughs> nice little funny thing. And for Ray, it's nice to see him in that uh, old school hairdo and then the clothes. The period clothes for this. Did a good job recreating the look. And then the fade out, it's after Ray throws the bottle cap in. He turns around. Then when the camera cuts, it's on Marie. And that's when she does the, you had a party in my... Even now, that's still, <laughs> I still get a good chuckle out of that. Because it's like uh, Ray's all the nostalgic, reminiscing, and then... She, old mama killjoy over there ruining everything nice way to set it up tucker collie as i mentioned in the other episodes he wrote he's pretty good at getting the dynamics of these characters down and here no exception gets them all down gets ray down gets marie down for what little there in the episode he gets deborah and ray excuse me frank down and of course robert makes makes you feel sad about him uh only other thing to mention is Bradley Warden and Natalie Reagan played a couple of the party goers. They're the only ones credited on IMDb, and they did some other stuff. Nothing major of note to mention. There is a deleted scene. I forgot to put it in my notes, but it involves uh, 
Ray and his typical character thing of wanting to get sex from Deborah. The whole little thing about it's Ray, Deborah being too guilty to turn down Ray on his birthday. And it's him a couple days after the initial thing because the whole kiss thing, he's not in the right mood for it. Where he's like, well, you know, it doesn't expire until a couple days after Raymond's birthday. You can see why it was cut from the final episode. Kind of redundant and doesn't need to be there, but it's fun for the audience. Overall, Pants on Fire is another decent episode. I mean, with Kali behind it, how could it not be? You get that nice little character moment. Fun to see Marie really flip her lid on Ray like this for a change. And the status quo returns at the end, but it has a character and story reason for doing so. And this is an episode I never skip. Which, I cannot say the same about the next episode, but who knows? Like uh, Fascinating Deborah, this might be one that, watching as a 32-year-old, I might actually get some more enjoyment out of it. And that, of course, is Robert's Date. I do know that it has some of my favorite blooper reel moments, as I will talk about next week. Or two days from now, depending on what order I decide to upload these in. But next time you see me talking about Raymond, we will shall see if this is another one that's on my skip list. Skip list! <laughs>